Recently, I received a lots of questions from teachers asking when they are recording their mobile screen with the help of free screen recorder or any other recorder. The video size is very high and they are unable to share it with their students because of internet. So let me now tell you how you can set your free screen recorder setting so that you produces a video of less size and in this manner you will be able to share it with your students very easily. The important thing is that quality will not be reduced. The application that I am going to use is free screen recorder for Android. And we will see only those settings which are relevant to file size. So what are we waiting for? Let's start. The app that I am using is free screen recorder. I will open it. I will share the link of this application in the description of this video so that you are you and me both are working on same application. Although the settings which I am going to talk about are available in most of the screen recorders. So when we are on this screen, let's go to settings first. So here I will click on settings. In the settings, you will see some settings related to video and these are very important. The first one is file name format. It does not really help in reducing the size. So we will leave it. Similarly, the second setting save file prefix is also not relevant. This is important resolution. Let's click on resolution and let's see what are the options available. The mobile that I have is recording in 13 by 6. It has the resolution of this mobile is 13 by 6. While we are going to make most of the videos at 16 by 9 because most of the devices have this 16 by 9 ratio screen. But if you make this mistake, if you select a different ratio, in that case, your video will be stretched and it will not look good. So don't make the mistake. You select same ratio, different size. So for example, right now my ratio is 13 by 6. In the same ratio, you can see there are many options. Four options are available. 780 by 360, 1040 by 480, 1560 by 720. These options are available. So what I'll do, I will select the same ratio with different size, which will be less than that. So when this is 1080, so check the last number. 1080 means 1080 pixel, that means full HD. And this 720 is HD. So when you have problem with network bandwidth and you are going to make an educational video, believe me, the high quality is not required unless you are recording your face. If you are not recording your face, just recording a screen or just recording slides, then it's perfectly fine to record your video in HD. Full HD is not required. Then let's come to this orientation. Orientation will not help in reducing size, but it is very important to select correct orientation because you are going to share this video on YouTube. So now let me tell you how you will do it. If you are going to teach some application or some website, in that case, most probably you will hold your mobile like this and you want your students to hold your mobile like this because they are going to work on that. If this is the situation, select portrait mode. But if you are going to record slideshow, in that case, slideshow will be like this. So your students will watch video like this. Similarly, they will also work like this only. If this is the situation, then make sure that orientation is landscape. When orientation is landscape, you will get a landscape video and when you will share it on WhatsApp or YouTube, in that case, the video will come in landscape. I am saying this because I have seen some teachers video which are coming in portrait mode and they are not looking good. Now let's talk about bitrate. This is very important because it decides the quality of recording. and. As you can see here, what is written, higher quality means larger video file size. So when we talk about a screen like this, for example, right now you can see this screen, it has maximum white and blacks. Similarly, when you make slide, max of the time you have white and black portion only. In that case, this high quality video is not required. You can reduce this bitrate. So let me now select a less bitrate and I will select 2 Mbps. It's absolutely fine. There is no problem in that. Now, 
This second thing is frame rate. How many frames in one second will be captured during your recording? If we talk about Camtasia Studio, 5 frames per second are being captured. 15 frames per second are being captured. So when we talk about screen casting, 5 to 15 is fine. So let's click here and see what is the minimum possible value here. It's only 24. 24 is perfectly fine. In fact, the video of mine that you are seeing right now is produced in 24 frames per second. The screen recorders do not need such high frame rate. It's fine to record in 5 FPS also. But it doesn't have that option. This is why I'm selecting 24 FPS. If you find a recorder that allow you to record in 5 frames per second, 15 frames per second, select that option. There's nothing, there's no problem in that. Then let's talk about video encoder. H.264 is perfectly fine. Record audio. Record audio only if you need it. Okay. Most of the time you need it, so record audio. Then let's define the audio bitrate also. The same thing that applies to video bitrate applies to audio bitrate. In educational setting, 64 kbps is more than fine. In fact, uh, before I mean, four or five years back, you were listening all the songs in 64 kbps and we were all comfortable with that. We had no problem with those songs, correct? So better to select a less bitrate. Similarly, when we talk about the sample rate, audio sample rate, select the lower one. 44,100 is fine. Audio channel. Stereo sounds good to ears, but if you want, you can select mono. There should not be any problem with that also. But it will not impact file size significantly. So we are going to select stereo. Then audio source, it's okay. Audio encoder, AAC is okay. That's all. With these settings, if you follow these settings in your screen recorder, then the screen recording will produce a video of less size. Let's now try to record. Now I am going to click on this videos and click on this icon and let me now click on this record button. I will allow and now as you can see it is capturing but this camera is on. I will remove this camera. In order to remove the camera I will go to settings and then I will select show camera settings. I'll go here and I will disable show camera. So I have received a lots of questions, people asking how you are getting your video in a circle. It's very easy. If your camera is on, then make sure the ratio of the camera is one by one. When you select one by one ratio, then you get your video in circle. Otherwise, like four by three, you will get your video in a square. And if it's 16 by nine, you will get your video in rectangle, correct? So it's better to select the one by one ratio. But here I just want to switch off the camera because if camera is on and I am result, I am recording in less frame rate, less bit rate, the video quality of my face will not be good. When I'm satisfied with these settings, I will go back and then I will click on this camera icon to record computer screen. When this is pressed, I will click on this recording icon. Now screen recording will start. See, now screen recording is starting. And now whatever I am doing on this screen is being recorded. So let's open slide. Because this is what most of the instructors are using to teach. I will open this slide. Since I am recording in landscape mode, I will rotate this. I will present it and present this on this device. Then I will click on the slide to make it full screen. Yes. Now you can see, although this video is of 2 Mbps bitrate, frame rate is 24, but you can't see any visible difference in the slide. See, it's looking fine. There is no problem with that. So this is how you can change your screen recorder setting to record a video in less file size. Now let's stop it. In order to stop, I need to go to this screen recording and click on this stop. Now the video is recorded. Let's now see the file size and the quality. For that, I'll again go to recorder. And this is the video that I have recorded. One minute, six second long video. 
and file size is 11.59 MB. Yesterday, I received a comment from a teacher who is trying to record a screen and his file of one minute was of around 100 MB while this is only 11.59 MB. Let's now play the files to see the difference in quality. So let's play it. This technique will work when you want to record the screen. But now let me tell you a clever solution of the problem when you want to record your face as well or when you want to record while writing on paper. So I'll click on this screen recorder, then I'll start recording and when recording is happening, what I want to do, I want to record my face or while I am writing on paper, correct? So I will switch on the camera and then I will open the front camera. Now you can see I am not recording, I am not, I am in the video mode. But I am not going to press the record button. Why? Because screen is getting recorded and because screen is getting recorded, my face is also getting recorded. Screen recording is also capturing audio. This means audio is also getting captured. And they all are happening with 2 Mbps bitrate, 24 FPS. This means all settings are less. So I do not need to worry about reducing the file size of talking head video later. Similarly, if I want to record while writing on paper, this means making a tabletop video, I will switch on the back camera and then I will hold it like this. You can use any arrangement and then you start writing. You can see again the screen is recording my hand. Okay, it's recording my hand. All movement is being captured. This way, I will record the video without actually pressing this record button and the video file size will be of less MB. Let me now stop the recording. Let's now check the properties of this video. So go to screen recorder and here this is 1 minute 40 second video. The file size is 40 MB. While if you record a video from your camera then the file size will be very high. Let me now play this video to see the quality of this video. So screen recording is always fine. We have already checked it. You can see my video is also looking fine. Okay. And if let's now move to the back camera, the quality. See, there's a slight difference in color. Okay. There's little grains are added, but as far as educational matter is concerned, that will be perfectly understandable by students because that will be visible properly. There will be no problem in that. So this is how you are going to produce your videos in less file size. Try this method. Let me know if you still face some problem. I will be really happy to help you. We will now meet in next video. Namaste.